Tesla versus gas cars. The true charging cost after 75,000 miles. Everyone knows by now that Tesla is a company that, much like its CEO Elon Musk, is synonymous with advancing convenient uses for technology or developing new technologies. To say that it's the most popular and revolutionary of all electric motor companies is like saying that Apple products are a bit on the expensive side. A wild understatement. Of course, the viability of electric cars versus gas-powered vehicles is debated constantly as climate change fear is increasingly forced on people. Still, many are hesitant to relinquish their gas-powered motors, challenging the theory that Tesla cars are actually any better for the environment or more cost-effective. So here's a look at Tesla versus gas cars, the true charging cost after 75,000 miles. Now's the right time to quickly smack that like button and subscribe to Tectastic. This is Tectastic. Andy Sly is a big-time geek who decided to do a test about this subject, and he conducted an experiment using the control of 75,000 miles to determine whether gas or electric-powered Tesla motor vehicles are more cost-effective. As it happens, one of the biggest and most important reasons why Andy Sly bought an electric vehicle in the first place was so that he would never have to gas up a car again. And since he bought his Tesla Model 3, he hasn't actually been to a petrol station in three years. Speaking on the subject in his video, he said, I gave up gas stations and replaced them with charging stations. Teen, I gave up gas stations and replaced them with charging stations. Ironically, charging is one of the biggest reasons why many people are hesitant to buy an electric vehicle. But he also did add that he feels that the concept of charging cars is one of the main reasons that people become hesitant to buy a new electric vehicle. In order to further illustrate his point, Andy Sly shared a survey that he had obtained from Autolist that showed that out of the top four reasons people give as to why they don't own an electric car, two of them were to do with having to charge the cars. For this reason, Andy Sly made a video that explains and shares his own personal experience with charging his car over the past three years. His biggest hope is that people who receive the results of his experiences will come to realize that there is nothing to be afraid about when it comes to charging electric vehicles. And he explained in his video that over the last three years, he has totaled up over 75,000 miles in his Tesla Model 3. And he compared what he paid in charging costs to the costs of running a gas-powered vehicle. Andy, who himself is located in Kentucky, said that vehicle users should keep in mind that the cost of electricity and gas depends on geographic location. Of course, every state is different. And with the current situation involving the Biden administration's attitude towards America being energy independent, this has never been truer than it is now. With gas prices ranging wildly and in some places being several times what they were in 2020 under the previous administration. Andy made sure that he explained that the numbers he was receiving in his experiment were based on the area where he lives, drives, and operates, and that these will differ from place to place. However, he says it's generally less expensive to charge a Tesla at a maximum than it is to fill a gas-powered car with petrol, especially 2021, which was before the major inflation of gas prices really started. The price of charging a car in some places is really, really cheap when compared to the cost of filling a gas tank. And he explained that one of the key benefits of owning an electric vehicle over owning a gas-powered car is that you're actually able to charge your car right from home meaning you can be in bed and your car is, in essence, refueling. That is an exceptionally good and persuasive way of putting it. In fact, he went even further and said he never actually has to stop for anything at all during his normal daily driving. That sounds pretty nice. One of the things people want to know the most about electric vehicles and one thing that holds them back from buying one instantly is the fact that most people don't actually know how much time it takes for one charge. You're probably thinking, why can't anyone give a straight answer to this simple question? Well, because the prevailing consensus of answers is something along the lines of, I don't know. It only takes a few seconds to plug it in when I get home, and a few more to unplug it when I want to leave. But that's still not answering the overarching question, even though it's interesting. Andy's total charging cost is interesting too, as he defines his charging cost by dividing it between home charging and travel charging. The first thing he talked about was how much it costs him to charge his car at home. 
noting that when he does charge his car overnight, he can do it during the off-peak times, when rates are lower than they are during the day. His Model 3 came with a mobile connect and public charger adapters, and also with a normal 110-volt outlet adapter and NEMA 1450 adapter. Andy did acknowledge that he had to drop around 100 bucks to get an at-home charger installed, but he said his price for the installation was unique because of his particular circumstances, and it shouldn't be so expensive for others. Many feel that the simple 110-volt outlet is enough. Andy did note that when you fill a gas tank, 100% of the gas will be going to fuel the car. Now, of course, electricity used to power the car will also be used for things like heat and other factors. Andy said that his own 240-volt charger gets about 94% wall-to-wheels efficiency meaning that's how much goes into actual travel. But there are other things like phantom drain when a car is parked and not charging that needs to be considered. He also noted that when traveling for the last three years, only about 8% of the charging that he has had to do has been from Tesla supercharging, coming to a total cost of 54 bucks in three years. Add to that, the total cost of home charging being about $1,350, and you're looking at a total of $1,404. So you're thinking, how does that compare to gas? Well, the answer may shock you, because Andy worked this out with a 2018 BMW 3 Series, which averages 28 miles per gallon and is a major competitor of Tesla. In fact, using premium gasoline, a requirement of the 3 Series and at an average of $3.47 a gallon, a price that's far less than many states in 2022, the fuel costs for the same three-year period would be $9,353. So basically, it's $8,000 a year cheaper to run a Tesla than the nearest equivalent gas-powered car in the United States. Given the state of the economy at the moment, as mentioned, that gap has almost likely increased to be exponential since the video was made. So the real question is, why would anyone want to spend 8, 9, 12, 15 times the money they could be paying to run an efficient, reasonably priced car in 2022? The video definitely succeeded in debunking the myth of cost efficiency that prevents a lot of people from buying an electric car. But what do you think about this? Are you more likely now to consider buying an electric vehicle, considering just how incredibly cheap it can be compared to a gas guzzler? For more fascinating tech news, hit that like button and subscribe to TechTastic. Ring the notification bell, share, and head to the TechTastic archive to view more vital info on fantastic tech.